Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of r if we have r minus 11 divided by 11 minus r is equals to 11 and we solve this problem for all the values of r. So uh, here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extremis root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So, uh, the reason uh, to solve this problem for first method is that uh, if in your exam the question statement is that you just find the root of this equation or you just find the value of r or you just find the um, values of r in this problem uh, uh, so it, if your question is not about the solution it is just about the root of this equation so in that case you need to uh, solve the problem for first method but if in your exam question is that you just conclude about uh, the solution of this problem then you can you need to do our uh, second method so this is the uh, reason uh, in which uh, how uh, we solve this problem for two methods okay and now here we need to move towards the solution of this problem from first method so here you see that this is 11 minus r is divided by left hand side we need to move this value to the right hand side so when we move this value to the right hand side it will be written as uh, r minus 11 is equals to 11 minus r is multiplied by 11 so it will becomes here 11 times of 11 minus r so further here we need a more simplifications and we write it as r minus 11 is equals to here we multiply this 11 separately on both of these two values and it will becomes here 11 multiplied by 11 becomes 11 square minus 11 times of this r is equals to 11 r and in the next step here we need uh, to move the variable terms into the left hand side and we move the constant terms to the right hand side so for this we write this minus 11 r from right hand side to the left hand side so it will becomes here plus 11 r and this is minus 11 r move it into the right hand side and it will becomes here plus 11 and here further we need to add these two variable terms these two same variable terms so uh, you know about that when we add two same variable terms we need to add the coefficients of this in these terms so with the coefficient of this term is 1 and this term is 11 becomes here uh, 12 r is equals to here you see that this is 11 square and 11 square is equals to 121 plus 11 and now here in the next step we have this is 12 times of r is equals to 121 plus 11 is equals to this is 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and 2 plus 1 becomes 3 and this is our 1 so this is 12 r equals to 132 so here uh, we need we just find the values of r so for this we need to remove this 12 from right uh, from left hand side so in order to remove this 12 we need to divide both of the sides by 12 so here when we divide both of the sides by 12 it will be written as in this form so this 12 is cancelled out by this 12 and we will get here r is equals to here we need to cancel these two terms and we get here 12 ones are 12 and here this is our 2 so again 12 ones are 12 okay so it means that uh, 12 uh, times of 11 is equals to 132 so here we get the value of r is equals to 11 so this is the root of the uh, given equation and uh, now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of r uh, is the solution or is this value of r be the extraneous root so for a verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is r minus 11 divided by 11 minus r is equals to 11 this is our given question statement and here we need to verify this value of r so that uh, 
uh, we just substitute the above value of r into the left hand side of this equation so when you put it here it will becomes 11 minus 11 divided by 11 minus 11 is equals to 11 and here you see that 11 minus 11 becomes 0 over 11 minus 11 becomes 0 is equals to 1 so 0 over 0 equals to 11 uh, means that this is the over uh, indeterminate form 0 over 0 is usually called that it is the indeterminate form so if uh, our left hand side be the indeterminate form or in other words uh, it is uh, undefined form uh, so if this is undefined form uh, it means that both of the sides are not equal so if this is the left hand side is undefined form it, so it means that this is not a possible case it is not possible that 0 over 0 is equals to 11 so if these two sides are not equal this means that the value of r is equals to 11 is not satisfied our given question statement so if this is not satisfied our given question statement so we conclude about r is equals to 11 is that r equals to 11 be the extraneous root of the given equation so this is the extraneous root or in other words we just say that uh, uh, r is equal to 11 is not a solution okay uh, so here you know about that what is the meaning of extraneous root so the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root and the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation but here unfortunately we cannot get any other value of r which is satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that this question has no solution because we cannot get any other value of r which is satisfied our given question statement so here uh, this is the final conclusion about first method and now here we again solve this problem for the second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here um, so that the given question statement is uh, uh, r minus 11 divided by 11 minus r is equals to 11 this is the our given question statement and in the uh, in, in this method uh, we just uh, we just give you the quick solution of this problem here we just uh, directly conclude about the solution set of this question uh, so here from here we need to focus uh, in the numerator term so in the numerator we need to take common negative sign so when we take common negative sign from here we get the remaining value r 11 minus r divided by here we have this is 11 minus r is equals to 11 and now you see here this 11 minus r is cancelled out by this 11 minus r so uh, from here we will get minus 1 is equals to 11 so you know about that minus 1 is not equal to 11 uh, so if minus 1 is not equals to 11 this means that um, both of the sides are not equal because this is not possible case minus 1 is equals to 11 so if minus 1 is not equals to 11 and we cannot get any value of r in the second method so this means that uh, in the second method we cannot get any value of r so this means that uh, this question has no solution in general okay so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos